This is the way the lesson for Thursday, August 21 started in 19, or 2014. So what, uh, what I had up here was what Tyler DeWitt taught on his video. And my contention is, for us at least, this really isn't enough. Not because Tyler DeWitt isn't a great teacher and didn't do a great video, but he only talked about positive powers. And that's the only one that it works for in the way that I'd like you to think. So let's look at what has to be added. Stop the video and copy this down. What you're seeing here is that what's up above is exactly the opposite of what's down below because the power of x is negative instead of positive which makes a lot of sense. But the problem that happens with powers of 10, positive or negative, is that as a negative exponent gets larger, the number itself gets smaller. And quite frankly, I don't think that really matters a whole lot in terms of placing the decimal. So I'm going to show you a way that you can do that that will actually keep you on the straight and narrow getting correct answers on all your problems. That sound pretty good? All right, let's go on. What we're going to do is look at this number first, and we did it with responders in class. But what I told the students to do was to rewrite this number on a piece of paper and to figure out what the power of 10 will be when we change this to scientific notation. So I'm going to ask you to stop the video and do just that. Is this the number you got? Well, I would hope so. And so, what have we done? We have taken and moved the decimal from here to here. And when we did that, we were moving one to the left. So, let's have one color arrow for the direction that we moved the decimal to make it into scientific notation. Now, a positive power moves the decimal to the right. And my method of doing this is very, very simple. Whether that exponent is positive or negative, if we are moving the decimal opposite direction to the direction that the power of 10 would move it, then that means the power of 10 is going to have to increase. And I'll explain that in just a minute. But first of all, let's make sure that we know how to move the decimal with a power of 10. And all you have to do to make that stick in your head is remember that on the number line, positive is on the right and negative is on the left. And so the positive exponents will always move the decimal to the right. And the negative exponents will always move the decimal to the left. What makes this thing work is that if you look at what we're doing, we're moving the decimal to form a number that conforms to the rules of being scientific notation, which is the number has to be less than 10, and the first digit has to be only a number between actually 1 and 9. So, and that would be 1 to 9, including the 1 and 9. So, that, that's the definition of scientific notation. Well, you can't just move that decimal without moving or changing the power of 10. And that's what I did in the number on the right. And how do you figure it? It's very, very simple. If I move opposite opposite directions. Note my green arrow goes to the left. That's the direction we move the decimal. And <clears throat> power of 10 is moving the decimal to the right. That makes those arrows opposite, in which case the power of 10 has to go up. So I say that opposite arrows or imply power of 10 
increases. And we think of that power of 10 as being an absolute value. So it doesn't matter whether that power of 10 is negative or positive. Think only of the power of 10. And if we think only of the power of 10 as an absolute value, and not the value of the overall number, but only the power of 10, this method will always keep you in, in getting correct answers. How about if we go the same? Okay, let's see if we can find a, a situation where it will be the same. I'm going to erase what I wrote up here, and I'm going to actually cover it so that we don't mess up our minds with more than one thing at a time. So let's get these other things closed as well. Would you please write this, or rewrite this number, and put it into scientific notation. And stop your video, and just do that, and then we'll talk about what you should have done to the power of 10. Okay, is this what you did? I hope so. And now let's look and see exactly what this should have been. First, let's draw our arrows. Let's draw an arrow for which way the power of 10 will move the decimal. And the power of 10 takes the decimal to the left. And now, which way do we have to move the decimal to be able to put this into scientific notation? And this is going to be a move in the same direction. If we move the arrow, or the decimal, I'm sorry, in the same direction that the power of 10 moves, then the, the, uh, the, if the opposite arrows, same arrows. Okay? That implies, for the same arrows, that we have a decrease. So the power of 10 had to decrease. And again, think of it as absolute value. Forget that it's negative. So you will get your numbers right every time doing this. So check yourself out on these last two problems and see how you do. And if you have problems, come to me and get some help. So here's one. And here is another one. Why don't I have you stop the recording and rewrite this thing first? and then continue the recording to see the answer. Okay, hopefully that's what you got. So with that background, you're on the road to beginning to understand how to move things in scientific notation when you have a power of 10 involved and get the change in the power of 10 necessary to get your decimal out to the same place. Okay, there's your final answer. I hope it's working for you. See you soon.